So, so I, I am very bullish on gold. And when you, when you think about Bitcoin, you know, as sort of a, a, a complement or a corollary to that is Bitcoin was created for the, the, the sole reason of actually owning gold. It's, it, it happened within a, the beginning of a zero rate environment and QE. And the white paper was, let's create something that is finite in quantity that can't be printed uh, to no end like what central banks can do with fiat currency. And it will become a store of value and maybe a medium of exchange. But that's what gold's been for 5,000 years. So it just became another form of the same concept. So from an investor standpoint, some people are comfortable essentially owning a password and software because that's what Bitcoin is. That's what you own. You want a password and it's software versus owning physical, some, uh, something you can hold in your hand or you can own both. Like I, I, when, when Bitcoin was going to 60,000 and gold was languishing and you know, I got calls like, oh, you're, you're out of it. It's your old school, you're whatever. And I said, first of all, something that's 13 years old is not replacing something that's 5,000 years old. And they can also coexist. They can complement each other. But keep in mind, Bitcoin, gold, they're not the only thing that's sort of finite. Um, and when I say finite, gold's technically not finite, but the supply is only growing 1% to 2% a year. And Bitcoin, until they get to 21 million coins, is going to grow about 1% to 2% a year. But a 1970 baseball card, a piece of art, is finite. It can't be recreated. And no central bank can, can sort of inflate it away. So they're not the only assets that sort of accomplish something. Uh, so I think it's, it's really one's comfort level. And I like to say with gold that I'm more partial to is that when you've been around for 5,000 years, you've experienced a lot. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of ups and downs. And um, I, I still think for the next 5,000 years, uh, there'll still be gold and silver. Can I say that about Bitcoin? I, I not, not with the same confidence.